Okay, so now what we're going to look at is creating a price profile, uh, which essentially is the price list in your online shop. So it's a combination of your product packages, some individual products, and also some download options if you wish to offer those as well. So let's get started. So to begin with, again, we're just going to click on settings at the top along this black bar at the top of your account. You'll see then at the left hand side in this log menu underneath the sale subheading, You'll see that option there, price profiles. So I'm just going to click on that now. And in here, you'll see all of my price lists are housed in here. So I have a lot of different ones for uh, sort of different jobs that I'm doing, uh, maybe from different labs as well. But uh, again, you guys can come up with a few different ones for different situations, perhaps. Now, again, there's nothing wrong with keeping it simple and having a fairly standardized price profile across all of the jobs that you're doing. But it's entirely up to you as to how you want to handle this. If I want to create a price profile from scratch, I just click on create price profile here, this blue button. In here I can name it, so I'll just call this example profile. Again, you guys can come up with something a bit better. And I'll just click next then. So in here then you'll see that I have the option to add uh, different items here. Now we've already went through creating a product package. If you didn't check that video, you can go to the, uh, the previous one and uh, check out how to make a price package. So you'll see then once I click on add next to packages, I have my list of all the different price packages that I have created previously. So I can add that example pack that we made there before. I can add in the premium pack, super pack, and maybe the classic pack as well. So just have a few different uh, price options there, a few different price points for different people. And again, if I wanted to, I can go back now and set the prices in the price profile. So this is the actual price that it will appear in the shop. So there we go. So the example pack, let's just say that's going to be 30 pounds. There we go. Uh, we got the classic pack there, so it's a little cheaper. Quite a basic one. Super pack, you're probably looking at around 40 to 50 pounds for your middle pack. And then we have a premium pack here, which is going to be 80, for example. Now again, I'm just doing this very quickly, just to show you guys an example of how this is done. Um, of course, you guys probably have a better idea as to what you want to offer in terms of the price um, and the combination of packages that you're offering in there. Now again, if I wanted to, um, I can add in some download options here. So again, most people will add in an individual download. And of course, you can have the option to download all photos there as well. Now, the nice thing with this is that you can charge quite a lot for downloads. And of course, there's no production cost on those. Um, so, of course, it's a little bit better for you in terms of the profit margin that is on those items. Uh, the advantage as well with your end customers, of course, remember that our system is going to send out the direct link immediately. So as soon as they purchase that, as soon as it's confirmed, they will receive a download link and they'll be able to view those photos right away. So that's also quite nice for your end customers as well. So I'll just click back and set prices again here. And I'll very quickly just set the prices now for these. Um, so with an individual download, you're probably looking at between 15 and 25 pounds for a download. That's sort of an average. So I'll just add 20 pounds in there as the price. And again, the download all that sort of is dictated by the number of photos that you're going to end up with. Um, at each job I'm just going to price that at 65 pounds let's assume that we maybe have three or four or five images available something along those lines now again you guys can obviously come up with something a bit more exact this is very much just to show you an example of how this all works now if i wanted to add some individual products again very simple at this point you probably already um, figured this out but you can just add in as many different products as you want there from the list so I'll just go back and set prices now. Now again, more importantly here, um, really with regards to the packs here, there's a couple more options that I want to quickly talk about that are very relevant for people using the shop. So you'll notice here I have this recommended price section. And in here what I can do is I can place a price in this box that will then express a saving when I look at it in the shop. So this 30 point selling price what it's telling me here is that the recommended price is actually 50 pounds. So I'm making a bit of a saving on that. This will be uh, apparent in the shop then when you actually visit and see um, how the packs are listed. So we'll see like a percentage saving alongside that. Again, with a classic pack, maybe I want to say that's 45 normally. 
the super pack. Maybe let's say that's 65 normally. And then we're going to maybe charge 120 normally uh, for this premium pack. So again, these are just reinforcing the fact that you're getting a good saving by buying these items as part of a combination pack. Now again, if I wanted to go a step further on this, what I could do is I can add an upselling option here. So if I don't have any digital options available in as part of the pack, what I can do is I can offer a, a download option for the prints that I've selected. So in here, let's say I wanted to do um, a digital copy of all the photos ordered in this package as an additional option for another 20 pounds. So there we go. Just add another 20 pounds onto that pack quite easily by just giving people this option here uh, to add the downloads as an additional option for a much cheaper price than they would normally. So that's the point behind that. And again, you can go through and do this for each of your packs. Maybe you just want to have that on the higher packs, for example. But certainly this is a very good tool that we have in there to help you to, uh, to gain a bit more revenue. Thank you for watching. If you do have any further queries, you can feel free to contact us. Our email is service at gotphoto.co.uk or you can contact us on the phone via 0208 068 8571. Thank you.